Hello students, in this part of story we will study should wizard hit mommy. This is explanation video part 2. In our previous video we have read that Jack started to tell Joe a story and she kept on in interrupting with her curious questions. And Joe repeated her questions which Jack replied that the spells were real in this uh, real in the story and he continued with that his uh, but actually he came to know the Jack came to know that the girl is becoming more curious because she is growing. So let's see what happened in this part of the story. Should wizard hit mommy? Then owl said go through the dark woods under the apple trees into swamp over the creek. What's a creek? Over the creek and there will be a wizard house. And that's the way Roger Skunk went and pretty soon he came to little white house and he rapped on the door. So Joe con Joe, uh, Jack continued with his story and he told that the skunk went through the way the wise owl owl had asked him to go and reach to the white house what is this white house it was the house of the wizard he knocked on the door now next what happened jack rapped on the windowsill under the covers joe's tall figure clenched in an infantile thrill and then a tiny little old man came out with a long white beard and a pointed blue hat and said, Hey, what's this? What's a want? You smell awful. The wizard's voice was one of the Jack's own favorite effect. So here, what happened when this, uh, when the, um, the Roger skunk reached to the house of the house of the wizard so here in this uh, paragraph let's see some of the words sill s i w -L, l sill so this sill means a shelf or the slab uh, near the window near the we can say the window or opening the doorway so clenched here means one word is clenched that means closed into a tight ball infantile infantile means childish infantile means childish and uh, now uh, let's see what happened in the paragraph now. Actually, to make the sound effect of how the skunk knocked at the door, because you know Joe jo, uh, interrupted, she uh, kept herself too included in that story. So to make the sound effect of the skunk knocked the door, Jack knocked on the window sill, and Joe was thrilled. Jack continued that. Uh, uh, that the old man with a long white beard and a blue pointed hat came out. Who was that man? That was wizard. Then Jack man his favorite sound effect and continued that the wizard asked Roger what he wanted and that he had a very bad bad body odor. Then to, the, to this Roger replied, actually this uh, Jack enjoyed a lot, a lot the sound effect of made by the uh, wizard he did it by scratching scrunching up his face and somehow winning through his eyes which felt for the interval Ryumi. he felt being an old man suited him i know it roger skunk said and all the little animals ran away from me the enormous wise owl uh, said you could help me so here let's see the meanings the scrunching here means scrunching means uh, to make a loud crunching sound of something and winning means um, it's a to make the long or high pitched cry or sound next word is Ryumi Ryumi is watery and uh, jump enormous enormous is very big so let's see what happened actually he made the uh, then jack made his favorite uh, sound effect and continued that the wizard as roger that what he wanted and he had a very body odor so then to this roger replied that uh, he knew that he smelled very bad and told him that all the other animals ran away from him 
Then the old man replied that maybe he could and asked Roger Skunk to follow him inside. A. Hey, well, maybe. Come on in. Don't get too close. Now inside Joe, there were all these magic things, all jumbled together in a big dusty heap because the wizard did not have any cleaning lady. Why, why? Because he was a wizard and a very old man. Now on this, right? So uh, g this wizard gave him permission, this uh, uh, skunk permission that he, ca he could come inside because he was ready to help him. So Roger Skunk followed him inside and uh, that time this uh, wizard told him not to get too close because a very stinky smell, uh, there was a very stinky smell, uh, odor was there actually. So then Jack describes how the house of the wizard was really dirty from inside because he did not have a cleaning lady to which Joe asked why was so then he replied because he was very old man and he was also a wizard. Will he die? No wizard don't die. Well, he rummaged around and found an old stick called a magic van and Roger and asked Roger Skunk what he wanted to smell like. Roger thought and thought and said, Roses. Yes, good. Joe said smugly. Jack fixed her with a trance like gauge and chanted in the wizard's every irritable. Now, what happened here? First, see the uh, meanings. Uh, irritable voice you know that is that keeps on disturbing right so that is irritable and gaze is what gaze is to look steadily or uh, to st to uh, look uh, fixedly one word is the trains so that trains is t r a n c e trains is a half conscious state right and uh, one is smugly 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 means in a way that shows excessive satisfaction or pride in oneself. So these are the words which you have to note down here and let us see what happened because uh, now when Jack is telling that he entered the room, the skunk entered the room and uh, he is telling, uh, telling to his daughter his room is very, um, his very uh, room is very dirty because he is not having any cleaning lady. So at that time. Uh, Joe again interrupted and she said that if he is becoming gold, so would he die? Uh, and Jack replied that wizard never die. Then the wizard started looking out for something and he took out an old stick called the, called the magic man. He asked Roger what he wanted to smell like and he replied that he wished to be, um, he wished to smell like roses. So Joe was very happy about that fact that he would be smell he would smell like roses. Abracadabra, hawkers poo, hawkers poo, Roger skunk. How do you do? Roses, bosses, pull an ear. Roger skunk, you never fear. Bingo. He paused as a rapt expression widened out from his daughter's nostrils, forcing her eyebrows up in her lower lip down in a wide noiseless grin, an expression in which Jack was startled to recognize his wife feigning pleasure at cocktail parties. So what is that? Now this abracadabra, hocus pocus, this is the, uh, this is the dialogue which he used to, uh, which the wizard used to do with every, well he is starting to do any, uh, you know, mira uh, any magic with his stick. So that is the dialogue he used to say. Now, he actually used to chant that, right? So, he, uh, he told that and he paused a rapt expression. Now, what happened? So, this rapt means, rapt means completely fascinating, right? And nostril is uh, the opening of the nose and one more word is a grin. So, that grin is smile broadly and uh, that is it. So what happened here? Then he relates the face that his daughter made to that of his wife. 
she made such a face when she pretended to be enjoying a cocktail party means the expressions of the face of the daughter jack is telling her that uh, that is resembling to her that time she re resembled to her uh, she resembles to her mother then he continues that the whole house of the wizard was and all of a sudden he whispered the whole inside of the wizard house was full of smell of roses roses roger fish cried and the wizard said very cranky that's we seven pennies daddy what roger skunk you said roger fish yes skunk you said roger fish wasn't that silly now uh, here one word is there cranky cranky means bad tempered and uh, let's see what happened now when the t uh, when this uh, jack was telling this the face expression of the girl so that time uh you know actually his focus was there with the wife also that he would go down and he would help her so then he continues that the whole house of the wizard was filled with the fragrance of roses by mistake he chased that animal that roger uh, roger skunk to roger fish and jo corrected him and she said and he said it was really silly on his part to call him a fish in a place of skunk just that uh just that you know um, that time this uh, jack got a bit annoyed with joe and very silly of you your stupid old daddy where was i well you know about the pennies say it okay roger skunk said but all i have is four pennies and he began to cry Joe made the crying face again but this time without a trace of sincerity this annoyed jack downstairs some more furniture rumbled so that time when he realized he was getting actually irritated with the continuous questions of the daughter so he corrected himself that okay that was not fish that was a skunk and all that just then jack got a bit annoyed and joe's expression and suddenly he heard some furniture rumbling downstairs and uh, he realized that clear should not be moving such uh, heavy things now why clear shouldn't move heavy things she was 6 months pregnant it would be their third so the wizard said oh very well go to the end of the lane and turn round three times and look down the magic well and there you will find three pennies hurry up so roger skunk went to the end of the lane and turned around three times and there is a magic well with three pennies then at that time he is realizing that jack uh, that clear should not move such heavy things as she was 6 months pregnant and they are going to have the third baby then the wizard tells roger to go uh, to go to the end of the lane and turn around 3 times and when he would look in the magic well he would find three more pennies there so this is always a uh, this is a routine every in every story that uh, this roger creature he uh, got shorten of his money and this uh, owl demanded a little bit more whatever he had so and he used to tell him the address so address was that go here and get the money so he was telling then the wizard was telling roger to go to the end of the lane and turn around three times and when he would look in the magic well he would find three more pennies then roger did exactly how he was told and got the extra pennies so he took them back to the wizard and was very happy and ran out into the woods and all the other little animals gathered around him because he smelled so good jo was starting to fuss with her hands and look out of the window at the crack of the day that showed under the shade then uh, he gave those pennies to the wizard and ran back to the woods where everybody gathered around him because he smelled so good then they all played a lot games and enjoyed themselves as it was getting dark all the animals ran back to their mommies
and jo was starting to first with her hands and look out of the window so what jo was doing that time jo also uh, started jo had started getting bored with the story and was uh, uh, more interested in looking out of the window she thought the story was all over jack didn't like women when they look, when they took anything for granted he liked them apprehensive hanging on his words now jo are you listening yes because this is very interesting roger skunks mommy said what's that awful smell what now when she is getting bored and she is not taking much interest in that she thought that the story was almost over on the other hand jack did not like the women who would take things for granted like women who remained engrossed in his talks uh, then he again continued the story asking joe be a little attentive to what he said the mommy skunk asked that from where was that awful smell coming to which roger replied that it was him and roger skunk said it's me mommy i smell like roses and she said who made you smell like that and he said the wizard and she said well of all the know you come with me and we are going right back to that very awful wizard jo sat up her hands dabbling in the air with genian fright so when the mother came to know the mother skunk came to know that his uh, son his skunk has been changed to the smell of roses so that time she got to disturb and she asked roger that who had made him smell like that to which he replied that the wizard had done so the mommy skunk got very angry and ordered roger to accompany her to the wizard roger told his mother that what uh, what the next one that he his friends would not uh, go away from him with this smell so but the mother wanted to have that same smell of his son but daddy then he said about the other little animals run away her hands skit off into the underbrush all right he said but mommy all the other little animals run away and she said i don't care you smell the way a little skunk should have and i'm going to take you right back to the wizard at that time uh, what happened that she didn't she said that she didn't and she uh, said this roger to accompany to the wizard but that time roger was actually a little bit disturbed and he said that my friends would not play with me and uh, the mother replied that she didn't care that she smelled just the way a baby skunk should smell his mother took out her umbrella and she went to the uh, the wizard house let's see what happened in the next part of the story in our next video till then please read the text up to here thank you very much